Hello, YouTube is telling me I am live. Oh my God. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Happy beginning of your week. It is 7 p.m. and I have my Starbucks today instead of Mountain Dew. Um, I also, I have my windows open because we don't yet have air conditioning going on in, in we just haven't set up our ACs yet. And I wanted to get a little airflow in here. Um, but I, so if it's loud and distracting, please let me know if it's like too much, but I, I don't want it to be. Um, but anyway, I'm I'm excited because we talked on Friday. So fun. It was so fun to do live chat, guys. I really hope that people like this and this can become even more of a part of our um, regular schedule. And um, we were talking and I brought up an idea that I had and people seemed to like it. So I'm happy about that. Um, of me doing live Let's Do Our Makeup and Chat videos. So. That's what we're doing today. Um, I wanted to get a little bit done before I was live with you guys because I'm slow and I take a long time to do my makeup. But um, I started with a Rare Beauty primer, the pore filling primer that she put out recently. And I'm testing it out with one of the foundations that I'm using in this like week of foundations that I mentioned to you guys. Um, one of them, so you're getting a sneak peek. <laughs> one of them is going to be the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation, which I have not used before this week. Um, so I'm going to put this on because I have found the color match was really good. I used this today and the color match was nice. It was just very uh, weirdly textury on my face, which is not something I'm used to getting from foundations, like they don't usually give me that result and like that finish. So let, you know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So anyway, I tried this primer because it's a different primer than the one I used earlier. And I thought maybe that might help that scenario. So um, right now there's like very few people watching, which is fine. Um, if you do join in the stream while it's still happening live, do me a favor, comment and let me know that you're here. Um, even if you're like 20 minutes, 10 minutes behind where we're at, just say, hey, I'm here, I'm behind. Or certainly my preference, come join us up in the live moment. And you can always go back and watch the beginning later. But I just really like talking to you guys in real time. Um, so that's my preference, but definitely give this video a like so that it gets out onto the YouTube space and people can see that it's happening and join in if they want to, some neighborhood members. So let me get started with foundation. I, um, oof, I also tried to like a different, God, I tried like a different application technique earlier as well than what I usually do. And so that might have impacted it. My mirror is over here, by the way. That's why I'm looking over here. But that might have impacted the textured lookingness of it. It is a more watery foundation formula than what I'm used to. Not really sure if that is a good thing or a bad thing, but you know, just of note, I also wanted to mention, um, I've been looking for like ways to explore jewelry because I haven't, I don't know, I'm never good at buying jewelry. So I'm wearing today a couple necklaces that I got from a like subscription box. It's called, it's called Mint Mongoose. Where is it? Yeah. 
mint mongoose. I found it on, I don't know, I was just like searching for um, jewelry subscription boxes. This is not sponsored. They're not paying me or asking me to talk about them on YouTube for all two of my viewers right now. <laughs> but I just wanted to shout them out because it seems um, she, the person who sent it notes that um, it's a one mom owned brand kind of thing. And she writes a nice little thank you note and stuff. And it seems like a small business, independently owned, all that nice, good jazz. Um, and it seems like the jewelry is handmade because all of the branding on it is um, Mint Mongoose branding. So it's not like she's getting jewelry and putting it in these packages. Like she's actually making it, you know? Like that's good. I give her a lot of credit for doing that. That's tough. Um, I don't know how many jewelry box subscribers she has, but I just think that that's cool. I don't know if I've, I haven't like followed the world of subscription jewelry boxes before or anything, but I just think that that's like, I respect that she's hand making as far as I can tell all of the jewelry, jewelry that she's putting out in these boxes. Like that's a lot of work. That's tough. And she's making them personalized to different specifications of what metals do you want? What items do you want? Earrings or not? Like all of that stuff. And she's doing it by hand. So I'm like, good on you, girl. Girl boss. Whatever. So I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I just feel like a lot of times my clothes in and of themselves are a little like kind of colorful and fun on their own. So I guess maybe I just don't really feel like I need to put a lot of jewelry, but also I just usually I forget <laughs> and I'm running so late that it just doesn't occur to me as a thing I should do. Sorry, I have my mirror over here. So sorry again that I just keep looking over here. Um, mm, it's casting a shadow on my face. So maybe I should do this. I don't know. Um, yeah, the, the textured appearance that I was talking about, it's still there. So I don't know what's up with this foundation for me, but the color match is decent. You'll see as I actually start adding some, some like blush and bronzer and stuff, you'll see that it's a good foundation shade for me. Um, right now I look a little ghosty and I know that, but, um, so yeah, I wanted to shout out this little jewelry company. I think that it's fun and I don't know, just kind of, I don't think I've really talked jewelry much on this channel, but I like stuff that's a little bit like kind of, I guess my, my general aesthetic that I enjoy is like boho, vintage inspired, rustic, kind of the more natural looking, the better. So I like jewelry that falls into that category. I love like copper and pewter and stuff that's like aged and rusted and, you know, a little bit more um imperfect looking i don't like when stuff is really like glitzy shiny glam that's not really my my gig you know um okay well that was an easy quick blush <laughs> you know what i didn't color correct under my eyes which today i need it lord I got this from Ulta recently, this little peachy color corrector. Good for light skin tones. I used to have a peachy color corrector that was like way too dark for me. Um, but this one seems to be better for, for my skin tone range. Um, hi, if you're here, I... I'm happy for whoever is able to join tonight. And if you wanna say hello in the chat, give the video a like, let me know how your day is going. I know it's Monday, it's the beginning of a week. What does this week hold for you? What's going on? How are you? And if you don't want to and you just wanna hang out and listen to me ramble, that's okay. 
I I appreciate that because I that's rare. But <laughs> okay. So yeah, once I warm up my face just a little bit, the foundation starts to look a little more normal. Um, I'm gonna get. Oh, there it is. My Nomad Sydney Blathers, <laughs> Sydney Bathers, uh, bronzer set. Also, please let me know if the window is too loud. I I I feel like it's like you can hear it, but you might not. It might not feel too loud, even if you can hear it. You know. Um. So I'm gonna go with this matte Manly Beach. Just a little bronze just to give me a little warmth. I actually did get some natural warmth. Um, my boyfriend and I went to a lake pond yesterday, got out into the sun, sunburned my nose, even though I put on sunscreen. <laughs> so, you know, but I don't mind a little, a little sunburn. That's how you know you're having a good time and enjoying the summer. I mean, you know, wear your sunscreen and don't, you know, try not to get skin cancer, all of that stuff. Um, but I don't feel, I don't feel like it's the end of the world. If you get a little natural tan. I am not, I don't play with bronzer too much, to be honest with you. Like this is my first summer really like trying to use it. So I'm just kind of experimenting with how to apply it in the right shape to apply it in. It's fine. <laughs> what I did learn, um, Alexandra Anelle is great. Um, she has a lot of really like simple, easy to understand, but also really specific makeup application stuff. This is an LA Colors um, contour and highlight palette. Which is a dupe for uh, what's her name? What's her name? Charlotte Tilbury, the Charlotte Tilbury one. So you'll notice this is warm toned brown. This is a more cool toned brown, if you see them next to each other. So like this warm toned brown on top is better to be a bronzer and the cool toned one on the bottom is better to be a contour. Cause if you think about how shadows are, they're like darker. And I was, I was like, ah, that makes sense. She, she pointed that out to me. I didn't come up with it. So when she pointed out, I was like, hmm, I get you. She's an artist, so everything makes more sense to her <laughs> with color, color theory and stuff. So I'm just going to do a quick little contour under the jaw. Try to pretend my face isn't showing my weight gain as much as it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And then I'll get into the eye look because I actually have a fun idea for the eye look today that I'm kind of excited about. Oh God, I got to move along. I don't want this to be a super long video for people who come to watch it after the live. I'm sure there will be people who can't make it right now. See, the hmm, my jawline contour is always a little messy, you know, not going to lie. I know my flaws. Um, and <laughs> jawline contour is one of them. All right, so I put back my primer and put back my foundation because I think it's as good as it's going to get. I'll get my. I'll get my Soho. Yeah. Ofra Talia Mar Soho. Highlighter, gorgeous, so pretty. This like goldy, orangey, peachy. Have this little brush. Give that ooh, a little, little dusting. On my face, make me shine. Thank you, Ofra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. 
I might come back with more of that, but probably not needed. Okay. Stew. Now. The eye. Look, I'm excited. <laughs> Sorry. I'm excited about it. I want to do like a graphic eye look that I haven't tried before. Because if I'm going to do a live stream doing my makeup, I want to do something a little bit interesting, not just like my day to day. You know, that's just how I feel. So I kind of can't describe it super well. So you're kind of just going to have to like watch and see what happens. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but that's just kind of the, the truth. But it, I guess like the best way to describe the image that's in my head, that is kind of like petals of a flower, but not an entire flower. You'll see. Um, this is CoverGirl Lid Lockup. And I'm going to use this because I'm pretty sure I'm going to involve some matte shadows and my eyelids are oily and I really don't want the shadows to disappear. I'm gonna try my best, my mirror's over here. Again, I'm gonna try my best to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. This is my first time doing my makeup live. So forgive me if it's not working and let me know if there's anything I can do that you might think of to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. But let me just start with this right eye. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little more primer action. So, how are you? How was your day? If you're here, feel free to tell me about your day or what you have coming up this week in the chat. Um, today, me and my boyfriend did a lot of like good, productive, like organizing work. Um, I still have more to do, but um, it feels good. It's like a day that I just like woke up on the right side of the bed feeling really like productive and ready to go and just like so much like stuff that needed to be done I was finally feeling like oh I can do that actually <laughs> sorry I have Juvia's placed the violets and I'm going in with this um warm toned kind of royal purple oof So uh, it was a good day in that, like, it wasn't the most restful weekend day, surely, but it was a day that leaves you feeling accomplished, you know? So that's always good. Yeah. I got some new, like, makeup desk organizer things to keep stuff a little kind of have a place for everything and everything in its place so that I stop having a really messy task <laughs> for, for doing my makeup in the morning and losing stuff that is right in front of me but I can't find it you know how that is excuse me just made this thing I'm going to, okay, so like I said, we're doing petals. So we're doing these like graphic shapes. So I just want to mark out on my eye in advance, kind of like the end point. Yeah, so this one's really gonna be horizontal and follow the shape of my eye. The next one is gonna be up higher. And where am I gonna get my orange from? I think I'm gonna get my orange from, yeah, the Latte Palette by Midas Cosmetics. Gorgeous formula, affordable. I think this one's gonna come like up here. And then the third one, Juvia's Place again, this beautiful bright yellow gold over here. 
uh, Nubia. That one is gonna come up highest, I wanna say. I'll probably play with these angles as we go, because I don't know if it's gonna be too overwhelming, but we're being creative. It's creative makeup time. Mm -hmm. I might, honestly, I saw um, Alexandra in LA did a really cool makeup look recently where she turned her whole eye into like a gorgeous, like three-dimensional flower. Like it was beautiful. And then she just did her other eye in like one corresponding color. So I might even do that. So you guys get my good, fun, colorful eye. And then I'll do this eye a little bit more kind of plain, but still goes. Cause I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna take all your time, keep you here all night. But I do like sharing a good, fun, creative makeup adventure. Speaking of which, in your life, are you someone who likes to do creative makeup looks? Let me know in the comments below, because I absolutely love them. Like the creative aspect is really what like gets me excited about makeup. And that's why I'm always drawn to more colorful palettes that are definitely a little less uh, traditionally day to day, but that I enjoy, you know? Okay, yeah, 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 this is gonna work, I think. At least this first one. It's gonna get complicated with the, with the next one. But this one, ooh, this is gonna be a nice, one nice petal. But yeah, do you ever just like sit and try a cool creative makeup look? I want to know what type of makeup lovers I have in my audience. Oh, we've got some nice crickets going outside. I don't know if you can hear the crickets. They're really cute. We're getting all those springtime animal noises tonight. Okay, yeah, so to round out the bottom half of the petal, I'm gonna take this same purple, all this same purple from Juvia's Place Violet's palette, lower lash line, and honestly, like kind of down under my whole, like over my whole under eye bag here, to give it that full like almond shape that a petal has naturally. Okay, yeah. Ooh, this might turn out okay and there'll be nobody here to see it. Mm, oh well. <laughs> it's 
just for me and the two or three people lucky enough to be here to see it. That's okay. Yeah, this is not the best brush for getting in the waterline, but like, somebody's gotta. Okay, ooh. <sighs> Let me see, I wish that, you know what's so weird? I wish that the, I wish that my filming setup wasn't so shadowy and I don't get why it is because I have such, lights around me so i'll i'll figure that out as soon as i can because i know that it's probably frustrating to watch makeup being done when you can't see it as accurately as possible okay Petal, number one, if you will. Okay, I'm going to just really define the shape of it a little bit more with this. Uh, this is my Sigma E05, my eyeliner brush that I'm in love with. And I was thinking about including, like layering up another shade of purple on top of this. You know what, I'm gonna try it just to see what it's like. This is creative makeup hour, you know? So I just got this, this Profusion palette because um, Teresa's dad loves Profusion eyeshadow and I have not tried much from them. So I was curious to see if it works for me as well as it does for her because she's in love. So, and this was $5, not bad, you know? So there's this nice purple in here. It's slightly brighter than the shade I've been using from Juvia's Place. Also, this is a matte, and the one from Juvia's Place is a little bit shimmery, but it's kind of more like a velvet matte. Not super, um, hello? Oh, it's still taped. <laughs> it's not like a super shimmery, sparkly shine. Ooh, get off. Okay. All right. And I have this angled flat brush from the dollar store. Oh my God. There's two tapes. Jeez. Thank you. And it's the perfect size, the perfect shape, my absolute best dollar store find ever in terms of makeup stuff. So. What a great color story, rainbow palette, just in terms of the choices of colors. <laughs> Let's see how this looks layered up here. Okay. I can go for that. I'm really patting, and this is definitely not a time to smudge, rub, blend, anything. This is uh, going to hopefully be a pretty graphic look. 
by the end of everything. Let me bring this up just a little bit. Now, my boyfriend said he was gonna take a nap. So I don't know if he's watching this, but if he is, I could use another light from the living room. If he doesn't bring it, then I might leave the camera for just a second to go get it. But yeah, the sun is setting over here in New England and it is having an impact on the camera, that is for sure. Okay, I think I like that. I was hoping for like a grape purple and this is definitely a little brighter, but because it's on the base of that darker purple, it's not like overly bright. So I think it's good. I'm gonna put this, yeah, down like that. Ooh, yay. I like how this is looking. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, real quick. Mm. Okay, yummo. Um, next up, I'm gonna show, what? <laughs> I'm gonna put this away <laughs> for the moment. Or actually, I'll just put it over here. Um, next up, we're gonna play with orange. I'm going to rub this off and, sorry, <laughs> there's so many things on my desk right now trying to live stream while I'm doing makeup. So many tools of various types. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the shade Iced to start out with, forming the shape that I want. And then I think I'm gonna need, I have several more oranges that I can add in to build up the opacity when the time comes. Uh, because going over this purple is probably gonna be a little tough. But in my mind, the vision makes sense. <laughs> so it's just getting there. That is the challenge. Ooh, okay. And this is where my not amazing fine motor skills come into play. Ooh, thank you, whoever just liked the video. I see your like. Um, ooh. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I need to adjust the angle of this just a little bit. Hmm. Okay, my mirror is over here again. Just a reminder of why I'm not looking at you for just a moment. My neighborhood is full of people who make a lot of weird noises, <laughs> including banging sounds that I don't understand. So that's a thrill and a half, I'm sure you can imagine. Hmm. I might have gotten this angle wrong, but we'll see. I might, I might adjust the shape that I have in my head if I need to, but like, that's okay. I don't mind as long as it comes out remotely resembling what I had thought. I do enjoy Stepping outside the box every now and then, you know. I'm so like, ugh. Ugh, posture, hello. You're a professional. Okay, I think that's, that's it. Oh, hi. Thank you. Hi, Kelly. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's a graphic eye look that I'm just kind of like making it up as I go. I have an idea in my head, but I uh, don't know if it's going to turn out at all like what's in my head. But that's why I'm doing a look like this at night and not wearing it out anywhere <laughs> for people to see. I I was I'm kind of choosing like a 70s color palette as much as I can, but I think it's turning into the brights instead of the earth tones, but that's okay. Okay. How are you, Kelly? How was your day? Ugh. Hey, honey. Just heard my boyfriend moving around. I'm not sure if he's gonna hear me quietly calling for him to come bring me another light because I know it looks really shadowy right now. I don't want it to. You know, this shape, this shape might be working. I'm trying to make it, <gasps> yay! Yeah, we had some nice weather here too. It's getting it's getting hot. It's getting summertime finally, thank the Lord. It's like we go straight from winter to summer with very little spring these days. Hold on. Okay, okay. I think mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Sorry. I'm adjusting, but I think it's not going to be bad. I don't think it's going to kill the look. I think I need to get this guy. This is a Pro Makeup Precision Liner Brush from JCAT Beauty. I don't know. And just kind of remove... Some brushes that I have are really good at like picking up product that's already on my eye. <laughs> so I use it like a little eraser and adjust the angle. Mm, you know what? No, let me do it the real way, like a professional and get concealer. Where's my brush that I like for concealer? Oh, here it is. I'm using my new like little, the, these thingies, whatever these are. And so everything is all over the place, not where I'm used to. Okay, I'm going to just get a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, and just, Adjust the angle of the orange shadow with the, yeah, with that. Because I think that otherwise it's not going to quite curve up enough the way that I wanted it to. Ooh. -hoo. That is an interesting look up close. <laughs> I was going to try to stream using my phone in 4K. Um, but you know what? This is a this is a fine look for 720p right now. Um, nothing wrong with a little mystery on your end <laughs> with some of the details on this. All right, okay, I think I have, oh. well, I think I have a sunburn, but that's not related. Um, I think I have the shape decently marked out in this lighter orange, so I'm gonna go in with the darker orange. I think that the darker orange is gonna be what I really need on top of this deep purple, royal purple. Yeah, and it kind of has like a neon quality to it, this darker orange. It's just very vibrant, you know? I hope it looks as vibrant on camera as it is in real life. Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> Yay! <gasps> wow! Oh, yes, even just like the outline, just the outline of this looks so cool. Okay, it's it's just, it's crazy because like sometimes I see things in my head and then I try them and they look dumb, but this one actually might be a thing. So I'm gonna go back to that brush. I'm gonna really give it a good shade switch. Keeping it with the Latte Quad from Midas. And this is the shade Double Shot. I mapped it out with Iced, and then this is Double Shot, the darker orange. It's this angled flat paddle brush. And I'm gonna just, yeah. I'm gonna need several layers of this, I'm pretty sure, because of the dark purple it's going over. And because it's right in the crease, and you know I've got those oily lids, thanks to being a uh, combination gal. Also, I forgot to reapply some of my magic uh, lid lockup. Where is it? It's around here, this, CoverGirl. Great stuff. Better when you use it instead of not using it because you forgot to use it. 
but it's okay because this is not going anywhere, like I said. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm also thinking orange and purple mixed together might make brown. So I'm really going to want to thicken up this layer here. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. So excited. It's doing what I want it to do for once in my life. Hey, baby. What? Hi, are you awake? <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Do you still need the lamp in the living room? It's okay if you do. No, I can't. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, honey. I've been I've been struggling with my lighting setup since day one. So I'm just like trying to figure out how to get enough light that I'm not overexposed, but also that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Hi, baby. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, baby. You are pretty. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yay. And then can, yeah, can you tilt it down or um, the 90 degree? Ooh. Thank you. Yeah, that, that should help. <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. Love you. I love you. I did. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, I wanted to keep it earthy. Okay. Mm hmm So we need to spend some time packing this up. Just got oh, I got it all over the desk. And it's such a bright color. Fun, 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 fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. I wish I was better at talking while I do makeup, but I I think for this type of look that is new and I haven't really done before. I need more concentration than I thought I did. But I hope, I hope we're enjoying just like chilling and watching. Maybe drink a little tea, have your dinner. Whatever, whatever you got going on, you know? Um, okay. I think I need to, just like with the purple, grab a lighter brighter color now to go over this darker orange base i'm going to try the spectrum palette from profusion again this shade is called beat just see hmm 
don't know if that's too light. Looks a little mac and cheesy for me. Excuse me. I'll go back to latte and I'll try iced again. Yeah, kind of, it kind of is what it is. Oh, something really quick. I just wanted to mention to anybody either watching now live or coming to watch after the stream has ended. Um, I got... I got somebody following me who was impersonating Midas Cosmetics. And I I messaged Midas about it and they posted about it in their stories. So they're aware. But I found that I couldn't report the account because when you go into Instagram to report an account, it asks, okay, what are you reporting them for? And I said, because they're impersonating somebody. And they'll ask you, are they impersonating you or somebody else or a business? And I said, they're impersonating a business. And then they say, which business? And you, there's a search bar you can type in which business. And the only businesses that will come up are businesses that have a blue check mark verified. And Midas apparently does not, which stinks because then I couldn't report the impersonation. So just like... A, Instagram, fix that. But B, if you get if you get a weird sudden follow request from Midas, because I mean there are there are like big deal makeup YouTubers who would not be surprised by Midas following them. But me, I was like, are you sure, Midas? <laughs> You're following me? And they were not. It was an impersonator. So, um, just always be on your toes on the Instagram, man. People out there trying to play. And it sucks that someone's coming for a smaller brand that is successful, that is making waves, doing good things, great quality products, pigmented owned by women of color. And that's who somebody is coming for to try to impersonate. Like, come on, guys. Not that anybody should be impersonating anybody, but it's particularly gross when it's people like that, you know? Come on. Okay, I think... This might be hmm. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do to just sharpen up these lines a little bit, but maybe there's not, and that's okay if there's not. And I don't mind having the two tones of orange either. I think it adds a little depth, a little dimension. <gasps> oh, gotta be careful though. I can't, I'm telling you, can't get too confident over here. Goodness. Oh, okay. One wrong stroke, man, can ruin this whole thing. I'm trying to be delicate.
Ooh. <gasps> wow. <gasps> I love how that looks. <gasps> Yay. I wonder if actually if I... Because shimmers tend to like kind of stick a little bit better on my eyes. So I wonder if I get an orange shimmer out, if that'll, because you, basically there's, there's a decent amount of purple kind of coming through a little more than I wanted it to. And no matter how much of this I'm like packing on there, it just won't, it won't cover up. So let me pull out Natasha. Um, this color spiral, the bottom corner. Um, she might be able to cover up that area for me. I'm counting on you, $129. Okay, hon? Hmm, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> no progress made. Ah, okay. Oh, it might just be too much tapping over and over in the same spot. Oh. Ah, I'm just removing more of the orange. What is happening? Ah, you know what? No, no, we're not gonna. We're not gonna let this. I'm just gonna slap some of this down right on top because this looks too good right now to let it die. Mm-hmm. My lid is about to be locked. Thank you, Cover Girl. Let's make some magic. Okay. Because I don't want to deal with a lack of pigment right now, Lord. Also, I haven't tried this before. I haven't tried layering this product over other shadows, so I don't know if that's official. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Let me start over the lid lockup with the color I wanted, which is the double shot. See if that makes a difference. I'm gonna go back to this brush though. Please. Okay. Maybe. Somebody's gonna watch this video back and tell me what I was doing wrong. But right now, I don't know. But it looks like, ooh, it looks like the lid lockup is working. Hooray, hooray, yes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I don't want any bald spots in my orange petal. Okay, sweet. Uh, Okay, much better. Okay. Okay. And I'll do a quick inner corner refresher over here, because these matte shadows love to move around, you know? Not like specifically these matte shadows, I mean matte shadows in general, but you know. Um, all right, so now I'm thinking I should do, hmm. I know what I want to do, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for bearing with me thus far. This is an experimental look, and I'm trying it out for the first time. And it could it could go great. It, it, it could not. Um, we're going to see. First, I'm going to test run what I want to do just first in my inner corner. 
So I'm just taking the very tip of this into the lid lockup. I'm gonna draw a line like that in the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to let it sit for a second. Get tacky and go back in with my little liner brush and the double shot color. Onto that line. Ooh, it didn't quite work the way that I wanted it to because it was less of a line and more of a dot, you know? So that explains that. Um, I'm just trying to get precise over here, you know? Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It got there. It took a second, but it got there. Okay. Yep. I'm feeling that, that sticky tacky. All right. So with that being said, being tested, I'm going to put Natasha away. I don't need her anymore. Um, I'm going to do a similar type of thing. I just, I need to yeah 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 yep okay I'm nervous, but I'm also excited for the third petal, which is going to be, um, it's not going to be filled in like this one. So that's why I'm a little bit like, because I need to get the shape of it correct. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Well, if it doesn't work, oh, well, it's just makeup. <laughs> This is where fine motor skills make a difference in a gal's life. And mine are not amazing, to be honest. I think I need to put it like on the side of the brush almost rather than the tip to get the line. Yeah, yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, some of the orange is still on there. It's coming back off, but that's okay. Okay, I got it good and curved on the way down. Now I'm just going to curve it more on the way up. I'm going to clean this.
Again, I'm sorry I'm not super talkative right now. It's This is the hard part of this makeup look and of doing makeup looks live in general. I want to chat with you guys when you're here. So if this doesn't work as a live chat idea, we don't have to do this often, but I think also the fact that I'm doing something so like unusual, <laughs> unusual for me and taking so much of my concentration is making it a little bit harder for me to chat. But now I have the outline, so I can use my Juvia's Place Magic Palette, this shade Nubia, this beautiful bright gold. This is a shimmer shade, and I'm going to put that all along, all along this layer I just put down of the CoverGirl Liquid Lockup, Lid Lockup, whatever it's called. Oh, wow, that looks great against the orange. Oh, guys. Oh. Oh, uh, you're gonna see in just a second. I wonder if this is literally just like glue. And they call it like lid lockup to try to make it into a cosmetic product, but it's actually glue. I don't know, but that's what it does. It glues down my eyeshadow like crazy. So fast, so strong. <gasps> wow, <gasps> wow. That's not quite the angle I was originally going for, but it's okay. Should I just fill it in with gold? Hold on, let me, let me clarify this inner corner. Ooh, mask me anything, yeah. I, I definitely think that I will have Monday like live videos that are gonna be, like if we're on board with the live thing, which I feel like I definitely am as a person. Like I would love to do a live version of like, thank you or next or a live version of favorites and fails because then I can get your guys' opinions on the same products or um, your own favorites and fails and your own like thank you or next type of products like in the moment, you know? So I think that'll definitely be fun. Maybe a little more, a little more spicy than this, but I just like, you know, I like doing this type of stuff. I want it to be fun for me, but I want it to be fun for you guys too. It is the neighborhood. I really do want it to be a, you know, community place. 
Ah, uh, that is so cool. You know, not to uh, blow my own horn or nothing. But I'm not mad about this. Not sure what I'm doing right now, but I'm brushing my corner with this. <laughs> um, let me get my concealer and actually do something specific. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the inside corner here and just, God. Ooh, you chill. Just gonna dab a lab that a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. And then I have a good amount. Oh, geez, I need to wash my hands. I have a good amount of just kind of like stuff happening over here. So let me get my um concealer. Oh yay, Kelly. I think those will probably be like better, better suited for a live than necessarily me doing my makeup. But I figured we'll give this a try for the first one. See who's into it. Yeah. So cool. I like this a lot. And then what do I do on this eye? Gold, orange, or purple on this eye? I'm not sure. Let me do my inner inner bottom lash line. Waterline is what I'm trying to say. My waterline <laughs> with the gold, I think. That would be fun. While I think about if I want this to be orange, gold, or purple over here. Maybe gold, maybe gold, I don't know. I love Juvia's Place. Like there's a reason, I was gonna do a comparison between this, yay, gold, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was gonna do a comparison between this and the Natasha Denona palette Freaking good for way less money, man. Just saying. It's just like the pigment, the shine. The uh, payoff. That's the word. Oh. Ooh, I just touched my contact with the brush. Gotta be careful. All right. Ooh, that's fun. Little pop, little surprise in the inner water line there. Ooh. Uh, okay. Ooh, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, it looks a little messy in the corner. Let me just... Mm-hmm, mm mm-hmm. I just need like a round, around this guy. I'm just gonna put a dot of... My lid lock. Well, actually, no, I just put concealer there, so it might actually stay without the lock up. I'm just gonna like, hmm, that's not, that's not dense enough. Let me do, I think what would, what would be fun, maybe the next time I do my makeup on camera is to have, <laughs> have it be completely interactive. And the whole time, 
the whole time you guys are telling me what to do for my makeup look. I don't choose anything. And then, ooh, ah, okay, wait. Okay, okay, yeah. And then we'll see how it works out with everybody working together. Like, um, oh, what's, I don't know, there's a lot of like team building exercises that are like kind of like that in theory, but it would just be fun. Teamwork makes the dream work, or does it? We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> this might be fun. Okay, let me. Oh, this is such a bright, brilliant gold color. Like, so pigmented. Okay. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. Let me get my purple back out for just a second. Just touch up this transition here. Creole lady mama love that keeps being in my head for some reason. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Now, other eye. We're doing it. Oh, wait. Should I, should I do mascara? I almost feel like no mascara with this. Maybe. Yeah, just for, just for a little something, but I'm not gonna curl my lashes, I think. <sighs> just a little bit, so we know that they exist. Although honestly, they still have some leftover mascara from earlier today, so they're doing all right. Okay, next up, gold on the other eye. Oh, I still have some of this left. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put down a base of the yellow from here, from this Spectrum palette by Profusion. And I'm gonna get a nice fluffy brush. And just really, honestly, well, here. I'm gonna do a light layer of this. What's my favorite mascara right now? I am struggling with mascaras right now. <laughs> um, I am trying to find the right mascara for my thick, straight lashes that will give them some length and some curl. And um, I definitely have found some good ones for length. Um, the Maybelline Sky High, definitely good for length. If you have finer lashes than mine that are a little less thick, then it could probably help you with the curl aspect too. But what always happens with me, I use my little curler, you know, I put on the mascara, definitely obvious visible length happens, but then they just go from like, wee to like, mm, <laughs> within like two minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even know. And then this one, the one I just used, this is the Lancome Lash Idole which was a recommendation from somebody in the neighborhood. And I actually ended up getting my hands on it by accident, well, or just kind of like by happenstance, because when I went to do my photo shoot on Monday of last week, last Monday, the uh, makeup artist used it 
and then she gave it to me because it's a sample and um, she like uses sample sizes of stuff and then gives it to the model for cleanliness, especially right now during COVID times. So I was like, thank you so much. Monsieur Big, yeah. So this one, that one's on the Ulta sale, I think. It's about to be, or it is, on sale for like $15. I have a flyer in the other room. Check check that out. Check the website. Because I think if it's not like on sale, it's about to be. Um, I... Um, so I've tried this now several times, and I don't know if sometimes the formula is different in the like uh, the little like samples than the real thing, but it's you know it's all right. I just again it's not lifting and curling as much as I wanted it to because I have I have good volume, you know, on my lashes. They're thick. I don't need more volume added. No, Walt in Canada. You can shop online. That's kind of what I was thinking. If you want. Um, although I don't... Sometimes the sales are in-store only, but I think that one applies to online. Although that sucks that there's no Ulta in Canada. I like Ulta way better than Sephora. They don't ship to Canada? No way. I don't know. That's crazy if they don't. That's crazy. Okay, I did a quick fluffy brush and now I'm gonna pack on some of the gold from the Juvia's place. I hope Many U.S. stores don't, which is crazy to me because we're, we're like three feet away from you guys. It cannot be that difficult. Ah! Okay, there we go. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why that that's a thing. I <laughs> not that not that you're like a, a foreign relations specialist or a diplomat for your country or anything, but like, I think that the relationship between the U S and Canada is fascinating for stuff like that. We have shoppers, drug mart, and the sales are not even comparable to Ulta. See, I've never heard of that store before shoppers, drug mart. It sounds like, is it like a, like a, like drug store, like convenience store like kind of the affordable makeup types of brands also do you have sephora ooh ah <gasps> just saying this is not bad over here. This is not bad. I am loving how this is turning out. I'm glad we went with the gold. Thank you, Kelly. Ah, these, if you need a gold, get this whole palette just for the gold. Can I just say? Oh, if you need like a bright, shiny gold color, my God. And it's a, you know, it's a very yellow gold. So that yellow from the Profusion palette is perfect underneath it to transition it. Oh, wow. I'm so excited about how this is turning out. So listen, there's a lot of creative ideas that I have that I don't end up posting on Instagram or on um on YouTube or anything. But this one is turning out okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me do my bottom lash line on this side. I think I'm just gonna stick with the yellow. I have Sephora and Shoppers is a standard drugstore with all oh, prestige and drugstore prices. Okay. See, we don't have 
A lot of times we don't have prestige in our um, drug stores. So that's cool that you, because that sounds like it's a lot more convenient to have access to the prestige brands in your drug stores. So that's good. Okay, hold on. I need to turn a little bit this way. I used to be an assistant manager at Pier One. <gasps> Literally, <laughs> I I really like Pier One. Um, I was about to. They they're all closed down in my area. The retail relationship between the U.S. and Canada is crazy, right? Like, why? I'm. I feel like it's the whole like, Americans are afraid of socialism thing or something i don't even know but like i don't know i don't know why we're so close yeah they went bankrupt that's that yeah i was gonna say like right before they went bankrupt i was about to take a job there as like a key holder or like an assist not not take a job necessarily but interview i was thinking about it like a year or two ago in the summer and um it, it was sad. I like Pier One, but it's it's also like I don't know. I get in a in a logical sense, I get why it happened, but in a like the part of me that is sentimental about stores, <laughs> um, you know, I I wish it hadn't. I like going and shopping in person in stores, and I'm hoping that. Ooh, yes. I'm hoping that the pandemic and not being able to go shopping in person for a long time will re-inspire people to go shopping and support in-person businesses. Not even for the sake of like, let's support businesses, but just for the sake of it being fun and actually getting out of the house again to go do something. I guess it's like old school now to like go shopping, but I've, I've always loved going shopping. And plus as a tall plus size lady, you have to try stuff on. You do. It's way more convenient to just go spend an hour, try on a bunch of stuff. Don't buy what doesn't fit you and be on with your life instead of buying something, waiting forever for it to ship to you. Then it gets to you. It doesn't even fit. And then you're stuck with it. You can return it. But are you going to return it? I'm not. I forget to return stuff all the time. I have to say, I thought that, that the yellow would not look good on me. But yellow is not looking as bad in, on me as I, as I thought it would look. It's working okay. They never got with the program and launched a decent online shop. In the U.S. and Canada. Yeah. Yeah. They also got away from their boho and had too much mature furniture. Yeah. I love boho retro. You know that. <laughs> oh, yay. See, I'm, I'm realizing through this week of testing out foundations that my skin is more neutral than I thought it was. So the yellow is not so bad. Okay. Yeah, it sucks that the brands like have to go online now to stay alive. And I think I wish we had World Market. I don't even actually know that store. Well, hold on. I was gonna say I, I think that um I think that pre-pandemic uh being online was like required. And I'm wondering if now post-pandemic there might be a boost in online sales. Or no, there might be a boost in in-store shopping <laughs> uh, after people have been feeling trapped for a year and a half. And so that might help keep some in-store businesses alive. But you would definitely eventually have to have an online store. It makes sense in this era. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So yeah, so that's, that's what I'm discovering. So <laughs> I've had a really hard time shade matching like my whole life. And what, 
what I'm figuring out with this week, I had all of these, um, I started out, well, you're going to see the video next week, so I don't want to give the whole thing away, but I started out with a few foundations and then partway through the week, I went and picked up more. So the first few foundations that I got were all like kind of yellow leaning, warm leaning, including this one, but this one honestly is very neutral out of the ones that I got. And then looking at them, I was like, these are too yellow for me, but cool tone is too white for me, like too pink for me. And then basically what it is, what I'm figuring out is like, I do have yellow in my skin. It's just like, I have like a top layer of yellow over a very visible bottom layer of red. <laughs> and when I just have the yellow, like when I, when I cancel out the red so much, I just look wrong. Like it, it, it looks weird on my face. So I think neutral works for me because it's a little more peachy. It's a little yellow, a little red, but I haven't actually tried. Um, I have like three, one, two, yeah, three more foundations to try for the rest of the week that are more neutral toned. So I'm going to really see, yeah, they're over here. I'm going to see how they look. I think that's going to be the big discovery of this week is that, surprise, I'm neutral toned, not uh, warm toned or olive. I was, I was thinking that I was olive for a while. And I think, I don't know, because it's hard to tell because they say like, you should look at your veins and I have some green, some purple, and that's a sign of being olive. And like if orange and peachy orangey stuff looks good on you, then that's a sign of being olive. And I do like my oranges and peaches a lot. Like my tanned areas look kind of orangey a little bit. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to match shades, man. You shouldn't. Not it shouldn't be this hard, but like, I don't know. It's interesting. But but that's why I wanted to do a whole week of this. Because like foundation has been the hardest part of my makeup routine for a long time. I find them more olive-y when I tan. It's weird. See, that's, I think that's, I'm trying to pin down exactly what olive looks like. Because I never look at somebody and say, you look green. <laughs> You know, like you look olive to me. Like I, I don't, I don't know what color that means, especially for like lighter skinned people. Like, what does olive look like? But like, I don't know. I, uh, I've been struggling with foundation for a while, and I realized like. I needed to spend like some time on it. So I'm glad that I did it this week and just like dove in, did the thing, spent the time I'm figuring it out. Ooh. Okay. Sorry. I'm looking for lips. Ooh, not blue. Let's not do a blue lipstick <laughs> or a green one. <laughs> I have this like berry color, but I feel like, mm, I don't know. It's a little pinker than I want if I want to correspond with the purple. Um, Maybe I'll just do like a, oh! Sorry. I'm pr oh, you probably heard that clatter, didn't you? Um, I might just do my gloss. Or my peachy. I think I'm going to do my peachy. Yeah. Tie it together. If you mix the berry with a brown. I don't mix lipsticks very much. It scares me. I don't know why. <laughs> I do have a brown. I have like a kind of warm brown. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just going to try on my hand and see what that would look like. This is my all May. It's like a pretty warm brown. Put that in there. And. Ooh, that. 
<laughs> Peach would be nice to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get me. <laughs> um, let me see. <laughs> you take things one step at a time with <laughs> trying new makeup things. Let me see. I have, if I do brown on the bottom and then do the berry on the top, just see how that would look. You know what? It's both of these are like a little more warm toned kind of. Then this is a more kind of cool toned purple. Well, I don't even know. I'm just making stuff up. We. I don't know if that's telling us anything. But I don't want to try the peach. That's where, that's, that's where my comfort lies. But I appreciate the suggestion. I will try that kind of on my own. The peach. Oh, wait. Here's my mirror. Mm. I'm glad the color is coming across well to you. Because I was very... I was very uh, concerned. Because to me in the monitor, it looks so dark and shadowy. <sighs> I'm trying to fix this lighting setup, man. Yeah, this is just a sheer little Revlon that I've had forever. And it's a real, like, go-to. I should... The next thing for me, after I figure out foundations, I'm gonna figure out like lip liners and um, really get into those. Cause I definitely see the need for them in my application. I didn't used to, but oh God. But boy, if my lipstick does not bleed every single time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like a nude, peachy nude. And then uh, I need to do mascara on this eye because we didn't do that. There it is. Uh, I'm happy with the way that this turned out. I could Instagram this. Uh. I've never been good at like curling my mascara while I apply it. That's supposed to be like a thing that helps as well with getting curl in the shape. I've never understood how that helps. I'm no I'm no professional. So I don't uh, Okay. Okay. And then is there anything else? Anything I forgot? Unless I use a gloss, I need the liner every time. That's <laughs> over 40 and I just need help. <laughs> Mine are just, it's, it's a weird thing where like, whenever I actually follow the actual edges of my lips, I feel like I look absolutely insane like it just looks so weird and I don't know why so I feel like I need to use the lip liner to like a little bit make a slightly fake lip shape that looks more even or something I don't know why it is but it just it just looks like weird and clowny. 
when I do what God gave me, you know? Last thing, I'm just, I have a little, little gapage in my brow. I'm going to fill that in a little bit. And then I think we'll call it a night after that. Um, this is super fun. I picked this up at the TJ Maxx. I don't know if you have TJ Maxx or like a similar in Canada, but it's like they'll do the, um, like overstock and kind of out of stock older. Um, I'm sure you know what TJ Maxx is. I don't need to tell you. <laughs> I'm sure if you follow makeup YouTube, you know what TJ Maxx is in America, but, um, it's this, it's like a clicky pen that has several different colors, except it's for your brows. You have a, a winner's, oh, okay, a sister, come. that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Marshall's is in the same company too. So it has, like the way that it gives you instructions on this, it's a benefit product. Brow Contour Pro pen thing. So it gives you lighter shade to do like from the inside to the middle and then deeper shade to do the outer edge of your brow, which it is definitely, definitely deeper. Like it's a whole step. And then the other two shades I don't use as often, but... I think it's interesting that they're included. They have a um, a definer shade, this one here, which is kind of like a, you know, white person concealer shade that you can put kind of up and around your brow to define it. <laughs> and then they have next to that a highlighter shade that you can put like right underneath, give a little, little sparkle. I thought that was fun. I picked it up and the first time I used it, I looked like I had like permanent markered my brows on. <laughs> but I think, oh, I think <laughs> I've gotten better <laughs> using a lighter hand with it. It's not the type of thing that's gonna give you like the individual brow hairs kind of look which is what I've been trying to go for recently in brow products. Cause like, I don't really need color added. I have dark brows. I just need a little bit of filling in a few gaps with real like hair like strokes. But every product that I pick up that says that it's gonna do that does not do that. So, you know. Until I find the right one. I have this and I have my e.l.f. thing that I love that's even less money than this was at TJ Maxx. Where's my e.l.f.? I love my little e.l.f. guy. And because I reorganized, I can't find it. Yeah. E.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. E.l.f. is really upping their game this past year and I'm here for it and I love it. And I don't know if this is a recent product or if it's old, but this is super good. I, I, I think I'm always impressed when I can actually find my brow color in a product because it's it's darker than my hair and it's it's confusing. But this is just the easiest little little pencil. I've worn mine down to the nub, so I don't have much left. But it's just it's nice, easy, cheap, little spoolie. Love it. I don't know. I don't know what makes like brow crayons different from each other, but that's one of the better brow crayons I've ever used. I don't know why, but it is. You know, I'm not mad about it. All right. There, so we're just filling in those outer edges. Um, I'm trying to equal out the, sh I'm trying to even out the shapes of these brows over time. And that's been a whole process as well, but you know. 
Thank you. I use the e.l.f. pencil every day, but I buy the Benefits Thin Pencil with the spoolie at the end when I can. That's what I need is like a real nice, like thin point kind of guy. Cool. Remember brows are sisters, not twins. Yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Which I always have found fascinating, that concept. But <laughs> yep, best advice I ever got from YouTube. That's funny. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, 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 and it's probably just because I'm a little bit detail oriented, a little perfectionist. I have like one little thing about my brows is like, I feel like this one always looks like I'm going like, hmm, like lifting this one up, like, hmm. So I'm trying, I'm trying to just like get them a little bit more even just for that reason. But other than that, I agree. Sisters, not twins. All right. This is the end of the look. Oh, see, this is what I mean. My lips. Lips are also probably sisters, not twins, huh? Mm, okay, immediately more even. Sweet. Now, this is the look. <laughs> so, ah, uh, I love how this came out. My chin is a little red. Excuse you. Why are you looking red like that? Well, I'll touch it up a little bit and then I'll probably take a picture for Instagram, but. So fun. So I'm finished. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. It's good to talk to you again, Kelly. And I think probably the next time I do a live one like this, it'll be a little bit more interactive, a little more talkative, a little more, uh, there's been some new releases that we need to chat about. So probably that'll be the next one. Next Monday is going to be an edited video with the foundations I've been trying. That'll be fun. And Friday, this coming Friday, will be the photo shoot video, which I'm excited about. So oh, thank you for coming by, Kelly. I think... I'm, what time is it? It's 8.48 p.m. for me. So I think I'm probably set to head out. But thank you so much for coming by. Oh, yay. <laughs> thank you, Kelly. <laughs> thank you for being here. I'll see you again soon in a video or a live in probably a couple weeks. Goodbye. So much love.